Hey, we're looking at what effect your shooting angle has on today's episode of Ask David Bergman. Welcome back, everybody. Of course, I'm David Bergman, as always, here on Adorama TV, answering your photography questions. Today, I've got one from Randy F., and he asks, How much does shooting angle play into your concert shots? We see many pictures from slightly below the performer. Is there a benefit from changing up the shooting angle at all? Hey, thanks, Randy. That's a great question. Listen, there are lots of things that you can do when taking pictures that affect the feeling of your photos. For example, you can change your exposure to make a picture lighter or darker, and that sort of gives it a feel, right, if it's bright and happy or dark and moody. You can also change your aperture, which will change your depth of field and make your subject either pop off the background or really become more a part of it. Those are all things you can do to change the feel, but something you might not think about too often is actually how the shooting angle affects your image. Randy's asking specifically about my concert photos, but this is true really with almost all kinds of photography. Where you decide to shoot from, low, high, or, or centered, it actually does make a difference in the feeling. Let's talk about photographing kids. When you're taking pictures of kids, most people just stand there and take a picture, right? They, you look down on the child and you take the picture. Now, adults are usually taller than kids, so because you're looking down on them, this really makes them look kind of small. And it, it, it does affect the feeling of that picture because you're looking down on that kid and they just, it, it just gives them a sense of uh, like a puniness, right? It makes them really look small. So, um, but if you can get down so that you're at their eye level, all of a sudden they become your equal. And it's subliminal in a way, but now that person, however tall they are, is now an equal size to you and they don't look puny anymore. So. If you even take that further and you get even lower than that, if you lay down on the ground or really, really get low or put them up on a platform, then they look massive, right? Looking up at someone puts them in a position of strength and power. They actually look larger than life. So now let's take this over to concert photography. Why does it seem that most concert shots are looking up at the musicians? Well, first, of course, there's the practical issue. They're on a stage that's raised up. The fans are, who are watching them, especially from the floor seats in the front, are looking up at them, and usually the photo pit is lower than the stage, too. It's sort of in that area right in front of the front row. Musicians are larger than life when they're on stage in front of people, and, and part of it is even just the, for the crowd looking at them, they do look larger than life. So in that photo pit, um, they're certainly going to look really, really big and tall and, and strong, right? Musicians on stage at an arena or a stadium, you want them to look that way because there is an epicness to something like that that really is puts that, that position. A lot of musicians, sometimes when you meet them in real life, people always say, oh, they were shorter than I thought because you just imagine that everybody is super tall and bigger than life, a lot of times because of where they're photographed from. Um, Interestingly enough, if I'm shooting something like a production rehearsal where there, there's no stage and the band is on the ground, they're at the same level at, uh, that I am shooting from, those Im images in some way, they sort of humanize the performers since we're all on the same level. But even in a production rehearsal, if I still want to make them look larger than life, I might even kneel down uh, just so that I can get lower than them and make them look much bigger. It's a creative decision that I'll, I'll make really depending on the story that I want to tell. Now. During a show, since I have all access, I can go around the arena and make images from all kinds of other angles. Um, for example, I always go up and do a high, wide-angle shot that's sort of a scene-setting image so you can get a feeling for the size of the crowd and just see the, the situation where we're at if we're outdoors at a stadium and the sun is setting or if we're you know, in an arena that's just packed with people. And I'll do other things like I'll put up remote cameras and shoot maybe above the musicians looking straight down because just because it can be a really cool graphic and a different way to look at an event. But that low angle shot is epic anytime you're photographing a person, whether it's a professional athlete or just a kid with a Nerf basketball. So pay attention to that. Just make that decision consciously on where you want to photograph somebody because it does affect people's perception of that person. So thanks, Randy. I hope that answers your question. Uh, don't forget to go to AskDavidBergman.com. If you have your own photo questions, I'll be picking them best ones and answering them right here on a future show. And of course, you're already here on Adorama TV. There's all kinds of great content here from a lot of great photo hosts. So make sure you subscribe if you don't already. Click that little bell so you get notifications. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll be here, be right back here next week, Monday, 10 a.m. Eastern. I'll see you then. <laughs>